So Brendan was Travis's roommate here at the Naval Academy. And as soon as I met Brendan, I saw so much of Travis and Brendan. They, you know, they both came from all boys high schools. They both had a lot of the same kind of sense of humor. And so it was awesome to watch their friendship grow and flourish here at the Naval Academy. And, you know, after Travis was killed, Brendan was someone that was there for my family in a really big way. When Travis was killed in April of 2007, Brendan was actually in Navy SEAL training. I think from that point on, Brendan just really used Travis and what Travis stood for as his motivation. Brendan was there for us over the course of the next three years. Um, on September 21st, 2010, Brendan lost his life in Afghanistan. They were just dedicated and passionate about everything that they did. They always went 150% after everything, whether it was service to our country, sports, friendships. And I think when you have those kind of underlying important values, it really bonds you together. Manions and the Loonies knew only one way to honor their son's friendship. They moved Travis from his cemetery in Pennsylvania and buried them side by side here at Arlington. And something that's made Travis and Brendan so special is they're not just memorialized because they died in combat. What was really special about them is the way they lived their lives. And everybody who was in the, the Naval Academy with them, everybody who was in their Marine Corps units and their SEAL teams, had you asked them, who in this room would you want to go to war with? They're going to be picked in every single one of those conversations. They were just, they were just those kinds of people.